double glazing, it has some uh, uh, gas in between the glass panes. And I want to show it here. So here we have more loads. So more loads have been defined. CI is excellent at combining loads according to Eurocode based on load grouping. But all this will be explained in the movies I will share with you, which show from the beginning how we apply loads. So there are different loads here. There are the, uh, there are the wind loads and the wind load uh, pressure and suction. Impose concentrated load in case of impacts or even maintenance loads. So if we have a rail here. And this climatic load during summer and winter has been calculated by the software. So um, the way we work with insulated glass, we have to model the glass panes at exactly their distances. So actually here we have different thicknesses for the elements. As I said before, they can be built from uh, single layer or laminated glass. And uh, additional from what we've seen so far is the fact that we can add here uh, parameters regarding the production. So I will go with member data. I'll extend this uh, window. We can input here panel geometry parameters. As I said, the panel can have any shape, but the code calibrates for rectangles. So this is why we can input here the parameters. And here we have the effective thicknesses. So with the first laminated glass module, we calculate the effective thickness and we know what is the value we need to use. Then there's the glass cavity and the second effective thickness. Usually the glass don't uh, glass uh, in insulated uh, units don't have the same uh, thickness. Um, so uh, let's see what the software offers when it comes to this double insulated glass unit. So it will display different values. We can have a uh, fee, which is a uh, uh, load transfer coefficient. So we can have a brief result. This may not look that uh, fascinating uh, from brief uh, report, but if we go with detail, we'll understand better what to do with this coefficient. So the software will calculate according to the parameters, like the factory, the altitude of production, will calculate the stiffness coefficients of each par uh, pane, and then, it will determine for us these tables, which is the final result, exactly in, like in the examples from the um, European code. We see the loads, and then uh, we see the isocor pressure that acts on uh, different uh, layers in case of summer or in case of wind, winter. And all this, what you see in the preview, can be exported to the engineering report. So everything is clear why we chose those coefficients when we determined forces. So if I have a force acting on pane one, I have to take that force, which can be wind pressure, multiply it with this coefficient and this coefficient to apply it to the second uh, pane. And the same goes for a force acting the other way around. 